Hello and welcome, my dear grade 10 elite math students, to today's session for revision for your coming exam for math, EOT term 1. And in this video, we are covering learning objective 7. So let's get started. And before we do, a humble request, kind reminder to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that it serves as a motivation for me to, more, to make more and more videos for you. In today's session, we are going to be solving question 30 to 39, as you see on the slide. And in learning objective 7 video for today, you will learn how to add and subtract polynomials and also how to multiply them. These questions are given in your math book uh, on page 98. So let's get started. We will first be solving question 30 and 31 together. So let's see what are the mixed uh, exercises and mixed operations on polynomials happening. So look here, you have brackets. So when you have brackets, it means you are multiplying. So here you are multiplying a monomial 5xy with a binomial 2x minus y. Similarly, you are multiplying 6y square with the bracket term x square plus 6. And in between, you're also doing addition. So this is a mixed exercise problem. You're doing addition, you're doing multiplication. And uh, similarly, we will see more problems where you do addition. In this one also, you see brackets. So you know you are going to multiply. Here also, you are going to multiply. And then the result is to be added. Okay, so we understand the question first and now we begin. Now remember whenever you see multiplication of polynomials means you see brackets, huh? just like this one. These are bracket terms. You will always apply distributive property or the distributive law. So how does it work? So we uh, work uh, on multiplication of polynomials using distributive law by multiplying term y. So putting brackets is very, very important. So let me do first question 30 for you and then we'll do 31 also together. So let me write it big enough so that we can understand the step. So this is the first term and then you're adding it to the second term. The brackets tell you that multiplication is happening. So let me highlight the brackets for you. So this bracket tells 5xy is multiplied to a 2x minus y. And as I told you, we apply distributive law. So we will multiply term by term. The first term 5xy will multiply with the first term 2x. And then this 5xy will also multiply with the second term. So these brackets tell you you are distributing the monomial over the binomial. So let's distribute 5 multiply with 2. So number gets multiplied with number, variable with variable. So x with x is x square and then y1. The sign in between is negative. We will not change it. Then 5 times x y square. Similarly, do the distributive law here. In between there is plus sign. I keep it as it is. So 6 multiplied with x square y square this is the first term added to 6 multiplied by 6 36 y square so 5 with 2 let's collect like terms if any so we have here 10 x square y minus 5 x y square plus 6 x square y plus 36 y square now do you have any like terms check see for the first uh, term. There are four terms. One, two, three, four. Now how to check for like terms? Here the variable part is x square. x power is 2. y power is 1. Here x power is 1. y power is 2. Here x power is 2. y power is 2. Here no x power 0 and only y power 2. So they don't have any like terms. So this is going to be the final answer. We stop here. Okay. Let's now do similarly this question. So I will use distributive law. So I'm going to multiply term by term. So I put the brackets and I put the arrow. So let's multiply 3 with 4 is 12. A with A is A square. B1 minus sign as it is. 3 with 5, 15. A, B square. This is the multiplication of the first term. Now you're adding to this the second term. So 4 multiplied with 2 is 8. A square B square plus 4B square multiplied with 1, same term. Now see, do you have any like terms? No, because all the powers variables are different. 
So this is going to be the final answer. So this is how we apply the distributive law and use it to simplify and multiply polynomials. Using distributive law, you could solve question 32, 33 similarly. In the end of the video today, I will provide you the answer key for all these questions. Let's proceed now with question 34 and 35. Here also we are trying to do multiplication. So one way of doing the question is to do it like we did in the previous slide. So apply the distributive law for multiplication always. Okay, so that is one way. Now I will teach you a second way also. Any way that you find okay, you can do. But yes, answer will be same if you don't do any calculation mistake. So the second method is called FOIL method. F-O-I-L. You must have studied this in your class. And I will do question 34 using FOIL and question 35 using distributive law just to explain to you both the methods. Okay, so F is the product of first terms o is the product of the outer terms i is the product of the inner terms and l is the product of the last terms okay and in then we take all these and just add them up so let's see how we do this so i will first mark this term is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So can I say these two, g square, sorry, g cube and h are the outer terms. So g cube multiply with h, this is your outer terms, just multiply. Then first terms means the first term of this and the first term of this. So that is g cube multiply with g cube. So it's going to be g to the power 6. Power gets added when base is equal. Then comes inner terms. So inner terms means the inside term. So inside term is this and this. Don't forget the sign. So here it is minus h multiplied with g cube. Okay. And finally the last term. The last term for uh, the two binomials is minus h and plus h. So when you multiply minus h with plus h, what you get is minus h square. Now add all of these. Hmm? Which all we are adding? Let's mark g cube will be added to g uh, sorry g to the power 6 will be added to g 3 h multiplied with added to this and added to this now this term and this term the product of the inner and the outer terms do you see some similarity yes you're right both are same values opposite sign so when you add them these two terms cancel out so they are gone colors what is left this and this so what is your final answer add them up and give your answer so this is how foil works it's a very good method it saves your time i would recommend to use it while solving multiplication of binomials now let's do the other method also distributive this you know so how do you do distributive you see two binomials one term two term one term two term so take the first one break it into two parts i did it and then keep the same as the second term put it on both sides this is how distributive law works and when you see brackets the first thing you do is to distribute to multiply term by term so this is how much 2n square multiplied with n cube plus 4 times n square minus 7 multiplied with 2 14 n cube minus 7 with this is minus 28 okay now Let's simplify a little bit more. So n square multiplied with n cube, power is added. So this is n to the power 5 plus 4n square minus 14n cube minus 28. So this is the answer in standard form. So now you know both the methods. Whichever method you find easy and which saves your time, do that. Answer will be same if you use FOIL or if you use distributive law. Make sure you don't do any silly calculation mistake. Okay, now from learning objective 7, question number 36, 37 and 38 are solved similarly using the same algebraic identity. So I will do question 38 for you and I want you to learn this identity. So A minus B cube, we are going to use this algebraic identity because here you see power as 3. So this expansion is given by A cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b. I want you to learn this because we will be using this for solving question number 
36, 37 and 38. So let's compare. How much is your A? The first term. A is Bz. Second term B is 2. And see there is a negative sign in between. So we are going to now expand this. Find the value of this using the right side. So this right side we will use. So let's find A cube. So A cube is 3Z cube minus 3A square. So I'm just replacing A with 3Z and B with 2. Okay, I'm using this. 2 plus 3 times AB square. So A is 3Z. B is 2 square minus 2 cube. So this right hand side is giving us the answer. So let's open the bracket, simplify. So this is 3 cube Z cube minus 3 times. So multiply this. So 3 square is 9z square with 2 plus this is 339z with 4 and this is minus 8. So the final answer when you simplify this comes out to be 27z cube minus uh, 9 threes, 9 multiply with 6 that is 54z square. 9 multiplied with 4, that is 36, Z minus 8. So this is your final answer. So make sure you learn this algebraic identity so that you can solve similar question. Let's do the last question for today, question 39. This is very simple. You see brackets. Wherever you see brackets, apply distributive law. Wherever you see addition, just add them up. So let's solve this. So I multiply. 1 by 4 to each term, so it will be 16 over 4z minus 12 over 4y plus 9x over 3 plus 3y. So simplify, cancel the common terms. 4 4s are 16, 4 3s are 12, 3 3s are 9, and 3 colors. So you are left with 4x minus 3y plus 3x plus y. So that's your final. And now, just think about, is there anything more you can do? Do you have like terms? Hmm? So these two terms have the same variable x. They can be combined. They can be added. So 4 plus 3 is 7x minus 3y plus 4. So that completes your solution. So now here you can see the answer key for all the questions that we covered in today's session based on your learning objective 7. So here is the answer key for you to check your answer from question 30 to 39. I hope for the remaining questions you also got the correct answer. And if you found the video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video. Bye students. All the best for your exam.